All right, the stream should be live on both Twitch and YouTube now. So Twitch lower latency, YouTube better video quality. We are back to our hardest difficulty, legendary difficulty playthrough of Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires as Grand Cafe. Most interesting part of his campaign. Uh, we could have been there already, but I got sidetracked with Marathi and we are trying to get a long victory campaign. So we're only concerned about the long victory. So when I open this, if you haven't seen any of this, you might be like, Adam, you're only about the long victory. What's all that stuff going on over in Cathay? Uh, is YouTube when stuck? Hmm. Shows everything's all right on my end. Maybe just the latency of it starting up. Okay, it's working now. Okay. Yeah, if it goes down, definitely let me know. Uh, YouTube has been having some issues the last couple weeks where I'll just be streaming and suddenly uh, just YouTube will like disconnect and then I just have to hit refresh. Grand Cafe, the one with a big wall. It's the one with a big wall. Yep. 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 Any plans for more against the storm? Well, I would like to, but with, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Eventually, I really do like against storm. Someone was asking about it the other day, too, and uh, we had kind of a conversation, I think, during Warhammer about it. Um, the short of it is that I really like the game. It's not a great stream game, especially for people that don't know the game. And now... There's a Rimworld DLC coming out, so... Rimworld DLC has maybe... If it's the same timeline as Biotech, it'll be out in about 20 days. So two and a half weeks from now, we'll have the Rimworld DLC. If it's the same timeline as Biotech, we have no idea, but... Yeah, so that's going to take over everything. I won't... That's one reason why I'm trying to pack in more Total War to get through some of these campaigns that I really wanted to play. What's going on with my leg? Oh, I forgot. The game crashed after this battle, so I have to do this battle again. Come going, Mage. Ah, uh, I already did this battle once. All right, here we go. We did this battle, we won, it went well. Got a decisive victory, and then it crashed. So the crazy thing about this is all of his units are expendable, aside from himself and those dwarves. So almost all the balance of power is him and the dwarves. I didn't really think about that last time, but... Um, we had that... The only time that it's been really annoying i think which campaign was that it was either silostra or sneak last year and it was a really long defensive siege battle who was it wait i think we were fighting festus who was i fighting i don't i don't remember anyway it's been like a year anyway it was a really long siege battle we were like in the siege battle real lifetime like 40 minutes and i just barely eked out and no, I haven't played through as the Empire, so I don't, I don't remember who I was. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, it was probably during my Vlad and Isabella campaign. That's the only person I can think of where I was close enough to be do fighting Festus in recent times. So it was probably that one. And uh, anyway, we were like actually going to win this nearly impossible battle. Game crashed. Had to replay it, and then I lost it. <laughs> So, yeah, I, th I think it was probably the Isabella campaign. Alrighty, so we have to replay this one. Uh, the only scary thing is he has magic. He has a really strong magic. The the Chaos Doors have strong everything. Honestly, they're they are 100% a DLC faction. You can feel it when you when you play as them. Uh, the AI never uses the full power of the DLC. Thankfully for us, I suppose, but. Yeah, you can uh, definitely tell they got all the toys to play with. So, all right. Um, we just got to make sure we have everything spread out a bit more this time. And he's a small target. But he's not shielded. So we might try to snipe him down with a crossbow. Like I said, he is a... Uh, he has, like, all the balance of power. So the balance of power pretty much entirely on him. Now, one thing, though, I want to make sure I get the harmony bonus. So we do need to put at least some crossbows elsewhere. The game kind of feels awful once you get going. Towerfall Chaos Doors. Uh, we did a Chaos Door campaign recently, and it was just... It was just pretty easy the whole time, honestly. Uh, it always depends, but it it's definitely been one of the easiest campaigns. We played as Astrogoth, and I had 
everything that I needed in like the first like we wiped out Grimgore on like turn 12 and that was our only big enemy the entire game so it was like you have all the tools you need they have everything let's let's just put it that way they, they just have everything so and yeah the later you play for sure though you get even more right so so like as you get your your stuff rolling it gets even nuttier but even from the very beginning they're just they're just really good I mean, their legendary hero makes it so you have, like, one of the cheapest mini Doom stacks in the game. Like, a really early one. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's just really good. It's going, by the way, Seraph. But, yeah. I mean, almost every faction, unfortunately, I guess, maybe, gets, like, snowball-y. But Chaos Doors are definitely up there. Okay, he used Fireball this time, which is good. Because Fireball is not a great spell compared to his AoE spells. We only have a Slow and a Snipe thing. I don't know why he's doing those Goblin Laborers over there. He wants to come get hit with these crossbows, though. That would be excellent. And it might be different for some of the other Chaos Dwarves, like... You were saying Astrogoth had uh, a rough start because of Grimgore. And so I decided to play as Astrogoth instead of like Zartan. Zartan seems like he's got a pretty cushy start. And man, oh man. I was like, oh, Grimgore is going to be a problem. We'll go right to Grimgore. And we killed him super, super early. <laughs> Well, they are not, uh, he's not running forward, probably because he has that ranged weapon, so. Just gotta keep an eye out on when he may use his spells. What does she have? Power recharge reduction on him, okay. Keep an eye out for magic. For the celestial emperor. Try not to clump up too much. It's going to be kind of hard because they're trying to clump up on us, right? This is mainly like a circular AoE type thing, though. So as long as I'm moving straight up, maybe it'll be all right. Watch me get a worse victory than the previous attempt at or the previous time when the game crashed. Part of the course, I guess. The, the, dragons, ask. the dragons what? <laughs> I know he said dragons ask, but uh, uh, the slowest flank of all time. That's actually the chaos dwarf with the great weapons. So let's turn on that. What I heard. <laughs> Never All right, let's get some flanking of our own in here. Stone and steel. Jade crossbow. Jade warriors. Looks like these guys aren't really needed either. Crossbowmen. Gotta be careful with how these are grouping up. Seeking opportunity. Yeah, that's that's the group I was kind of worried about. Warriors. Sure enough. They are the ones taking the big damage. Which ones are those? Uh, they're just some of the Jade Warriors. So I'm already taking more damage than I did on the first one. This always happens. I don't know why. Anytime the game crashes after a battle, I always do worse on the second try. I don't know why. Just, just the way it goes, I guess. Computers taking notes. Yeah. Maybe I'm throwing my notes away. I'm not sure. For the moon dragon. Interestingly enough, he's not using his big AOE spell this time, which is why I played differently last time we got hit by it. 
was like, oh, I'm not going to get hit by this next time. Maybe they are taking notes. Yeah, he's just using fireball this time. So kind of nice, but also why are you playing differently? <laughs> playing differently uh orc laborers i want to mainly kill the yeah there we go those doors announcement of the dlc in two hours nice so it is literally so far the exact same timeline as biotech all right i was i was just saying like if it follows the oh there there's the spell go, go, go. i said if it follows the same timeline it was announced the title was announced two days later which would be today can you just say fire is a blast maybe <laughs> On Elma AC, welcome in. Taking over for North today, I see. Of yeah, I did worse than before the game crashed. <laughs> uh, figures. Uh, figures. Yeah. Yeah, I was just told, yeah. Thank you. This way, I will go on well, if it's only a title, I'm not going to make a new video about it. If it's more than a title, we will cut this Warhammer stream short and see what there is. Yeah, I, I took way more damage this time than last time. That's crazy. We might actually only get a close victory this time instead. <laughs> Unless the game crashes again, in which case it might. We had that happen once too, where for some reason the end of a battle just kept crashing. I kept winning and I played it two or three times and I was like, man, is it going to make me auto resolve this? I really don't want to auto resolve it. And uh, yes, it made me auto resolve it. So hopefully that's not the case here. That would suck. We want to try to kill him because... He is outside of a settlement, if I recall. I hope it's named one of the names that I guessed. Yeah. I wouldn't doubt. Uh, I don't think they will change the name because of anything any of us said. We were joking about that, too. It's like, well, they were going to name it Archaeology. But then after everyone was saying two days ago that that was what the name was going to be, they changed their mind. <laughs> like, nah, -uh. just like the DLCs weren't, we're never going to spell out RimWorld. Yeah. Tanky little turd. My Lord. And this is hitting him with crossbows too. This isn't like, I'm not hitting with peasant archers, well. Uh, only fire there. Man. Because <laughs> if we have to fight him again, he's just gonna cast more spells. Ugh. He's healing. He has some kind of item on, like the thirst or something. Uh, one of those thirsty items. Regeneration items. The hunger. 
He's literally healing. All right, well, he's cheating you. It reminds me, I got a comment on YouTube this morning that was very bizarre. I get a lot. It was still decisive, but we lost way more. Someone commented on my RimWorld for fun speed, speed run and said it was obvious I was using a mod to cheat because the map I played on didn't have winter. <laughs> I was like, I could tell they have no idea anything about RimWorld, right? And I just replied and I was like, you can see in the video that I actually, I literally choose a year long growing forest map on the equator so I don't have to deal with winter. Here's the timestamp. You can watch the entire time, the entire playthrough, including where I choose the map. Kind of bizarre. Bizarre. Do I Trisha? Yeah, everyone's telling me. That's all right, though. I, I know that that kind of thing is going to happen. That little jerk healed. We have to fight him again. And then she's going to get uh, attrition after that. So if we beat him again, it suits my purposes. Then he's wiped. Celestial general. Or I can I let her heal and fight him next turn, but he's gonna heal up some. Matras. The thing is, if I, yeah, I don't know what he's gonna do, and there could be another army waiting in the, in the shadows there. Celestial glory is um. It is mine. The thing is, he has all the balance of power. Can Lord we kill him? Rule. Or is he just going to cast a bunch? What does he have? What do you have that's healing you, sir? I spend too much time idle in thought. I should trade. Uh, Chalice of Blood and Darkness. Oh, she was healing him. <laughs> Every time she cast a spell on him, he healed. Yeah, yeah, there it is. I didn't remember that item. I'm pretty sure we saw that item, though, when I played them. Trisha, 28 months. Thank you, Trisha. Very much appreciated. It's a whole DLC was released. Uh, in two hours, would I switch? Yes, but it won't be. Yeah, I forgot all about that item. All right. So as long as I'm not in his face casting, we should be able to kill him with a uh, crossbow. So hopefully he doesn't nuke too many of them. But it's really unfortunate that after this fight, she's not going to get any... She's going to have no movement to go into replenishment. Um, maybe it would be better to just let her heal. And then he might... Like his army's nothing anyway. He might just garrison. Yeah, we probably should do that. And then if another army is here, she can run away and then we can two stack them anyway. All right. It's kind of unfortunate, but at least the game didn't crash, right? All right, this is our caravan. Uh, so we've we finally got all the main stuff for the caravan now. Um, Oscar cut. My 30 chance of a double move plus 5%. We want that one as well. Well, hang on. I forgot you can only choose one or the other. Use the charge and extortion events. Uh, maximum caravan cargo capacity plus 30%. This one is cost caravan shortcut and chance of moving faster. Dundas, Tater. Hammering some wars. We're hammering some wars. Uh, yeah, let's get more, more money. A tool be smugglers. Efficiency. Always be smuggling. Okay, this is Satan, the Satan, the uh, legendary hero. Missile strength, yeah, that's what he needs. He needs to be stronger. That's what I kept thinking. Every time he like would just destroy an entire group of units in in one shot, I was like, I don't know, man, that seems kind of weak to me. All right, steel technology. Fun horizon. Announcement, announcement. Yes, yes, I did. Thank you. Announcement of an announcement. Uh, let's get Block Army. Block Army is really powerful. I usually don't have a lot of heroes outside of the army running around, but in this campaign, we're so wealthy that getting a few extra heroes to run around is uh, is not bad at all. Okay. Those armies are both full right now, so we will take this guy over to the Blood Hall. We got at least two armies in there, huh? 
Oh, and we are recruiting here. That's right. She's recruiting some real good. Oh, Ink Boy. Will the clock to go faster. So last time the teaser uh, poster thing came out. And then two days later, the name of the DLC was released along with a, hey, we're going to give you an update the DLC. And then they, uh, that was like three days. And then they did every three or four days, they gave us a new update. And then the game came out 19 days after the first teaser. I will People might be like, how do you remember this? I don't, I looked it up. <laughs> I remembered some of it, but I didn't remember the exact timing. Uh, where are we, what were we gonna put here? I don't remember. This is a commercial district, so we want harmony. Ah, that's what we're waiting on. We're waiting on that. Will any boys succeed or not? Can't wait. Yeah, yeah, it should be really interesting. Well, I'm definitely playing a game that passes the time at least quickly for me. So, I'm pretty much teleporting to the future right now anyway. All right, we'll go ahead and upgrade this. We, ha we have the money, and if... Yeah, if we end up getting attacked from the north, I'll be happy that I did this. So let's... These are not good climates for us, so... It takes quite a long time to upgrade. <clears throat> but... We got the money. We'll do it. City of Shugengun. Shugengun. Uh, this one we also have in Harmony right now, surprisingly. So let's just throw a wall on there. Especially, I, I think they're going to push him down. But he might very well come up here and be like, oh, well, I'm just going to take this. Luckily, Miao Ying is there helping defend right now. Just by coincidence, I think. I don't think she's really there. Like, I'll help you, ally. But whether she means to or not, I'll take the assistance. Oh, we can finally um, confederate her. Oh, this turn's about to get a lot more... A lot more interesting. A lot longer. Uh, no, we're about to learn in less than two hours. Let's go ahead and join. Ah, uh, square and welcome in. Cashews. Market simulator. Feels like five minutes. Supermarket simulator. All right, let's do it. Let's get, let's, uh, let's confederate the sister. Here we go. Enter. Nankau's defense of boon. Let's see what our income Those went to. <laughs> From plus like 14,000 to minus 2,500. All right, so now we got some stuff to do. Hey, we got that province back now, so that's that's nice. That's nice. Okay, so Mao Ying, let's see what kind of crap they put on you. We got one in the blue. Don't make any jokes. Uh, you know what? That's actually pretty good. They went into the red as if they were going to build a celestial army, which is what she is good at. One of the things she's good at. That's pretty good. They got hard to hit, they got extra health, they got extra melee attack. Wow, I might not even have to respec her. Way to go, AI. Way to go. She's got her lore of life stuff upgraded. Uh, melee defense and word while fighting demons and whatnot. Range for her missile units. Reload time. Holy crap, they actually accidentally specced in a very good way. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they picked up the Master of the Storms and didn't pick up Life Bloom, but overall, like, you know, she has, she has Earthblood by default, so it's still impacting that. That's really shocking. Like, it's very rare that I end up getting a Legendary Lord that's above, like, a few levels and the AI have actually put in some decent, uh, points, you know? So, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. Extra range. Let's see. There we go. All right. Good enough. My celestial. No similar content at the end of your stream. I used to do it every single time. Um, but I stopped for a couple reasons. One of them is we end up having a lot of people that lurk. And I started, I know it's a, it's a minority, but I ended up starting to get some people complaining about it and no longer lurking because I would send them somewhere and that channel was much louder and whatnot. I still do it occasionally, but it just, uh, it just depends nowadays. I used to do it all the time, but a lot of it was because 
uh, lurkers were like, hey, can you not raid these certain people? <laughs> so, but that's, it's been a while, to be honest, since that happened, so. General. I will, uh... Celestial and then the, the second reason, second reason is usually I partially accidentally, this is the bigger reason actually, the more common reason, I kind of accidentally play until I like literally have to get off the stream. Like it's literally like, hey, dinner's done. And then I tell you, I'm starting to tell you guys bye and stuff. And it's like, your food's getting cold. It's literally on the table. Uh, and I don't mean that in a negative way. That's a good thing that, uh, that I can I can go eat dinner right after. But those are the two big reasons, I would say, I guess. All right. So we're going to get rid of a few of these armies. Like, we don't need this one. They don't have anything super crazy awesome anyway. No shame. Costing us a lot of money. We, uh, uh, yeah, and, uh, again, nothing against any of the so mods, but general. used to, uh, I would have some mods, like R-squared, who would go and check out channels ahead of time Attention. for, like, 30 minutes before the stream ended, but again, I don't have a real in-concrete stopping time either anymore, so used to, it was like, alright, I always get off stream at this time, so it was easy for them, now it's like, I just stream until I have to get off of there. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just, yeah, it's, it's nothing against uh, raiding people or anyone specific or anything like that. Like that. Those are two of the two of the main reasons that come up it. as far as as why. But part of it is I don't have a actual scheduled stopping time. And so I just go right until I can't go anymore. And then. The I forgot that Zatan was there. And then also, the um, the the other one was was basically when I was streaming overnight. So that one doesn't really apply anymore. The one that I was saying like people were like, "Oh, my lurking has ended because people were yelling and I was trying to sleep." That one used to happen when I was streaming at night. I don't do that anymore, so that's not really a applicable reason. The main reason, like I said, is I just run right up until I have to get off here. Um. I don't want that building, so we're going to go ahead and take that out. What did she make there? Unlock hero recruitment, Astrovancer, hero recruitment plus one. Hero recruitment plus seven for Astrovancers. Whoa. We can re recruit them at level 17? Wow, we're going to get some more of those next turn. Abs in the same direction, never flanked. Yeah, yeah, he's got a really cushy start. Uh, King Loser, thank you for the 28 months. You and Trisha right around the same time, huh? Uh, don't care about this building. Um, yeah, I actually don't really want these either. I kind of want to trade that out. I'd rather that be in the capital. I was going to have it. Um... Where's Nan Lee again? It's down here, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, we could use this as kind of some recruitment for... Maybe I'll leave those. We could use this as a military province on this side of Grimgore because this wouldn't have a lot of income anyway for a... for a commercial district, so... You won UC? My... my immediately goes to urinal chicken. King Loser, don't tell me that you're playing urinal chicken as an adult, right? Right? <laughs> All right, what do you have here? Control plus two, control plus one, Jay's Promise, control plus five, casualty replacement, plus five percent, nice. I mean, maybe. Maybe that's what's going on. Whoa, she didn't rebuild the snake gate? Huh. We're going to have to do that next turn. Celestial okay, is there another army of hers that I wanted to get rid of? I don't think so. We basically just kept two of her armies. At Twitch Elementary. Two armies. Yeah, it's because of supply lines. So for anyone that doesn't know, the more armies you have, the more all of your armies, all of your military units cost. So. Uh... 
Okay. She actually kept her sky junk, which is nice. I think that's all, right? Yeah, she doesn't have anything weird going on. All right, what a turn, what a turn. Dusted off, room roll for the DLC. Nice. Also lose their background income. Yeah, you lose that. We we had... Ch oh my god, I cannot remember the last time I saw an auto-resolve heroic victory on Legendary. Alright. Yeah, we lose their background, so anything that she was... Uh, the cheats that she was getting, any trades that she had going on, our trade with her we lost... There's a lot of things going on with income-wise there, but the big thing was the armies, yeah. I can promise little. As a <laughs> I would definitely win that award. Uh, wow, thanks. You're probably right. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not too keen on the urinal chicken scene. This. Oh, did I? I accidentally had it on fast forward for everything. It's unfortunate. Return that off next time. All right, to you on Mo. I cannot delegate this. Get you into the water there. Humility in all things. A textbook maneuver. Are you really gonna make me wait till the next turn? First among warriors. Oh, okay, there we go. Azir provides. I desire their research. I will learn their secrets. Dragon Imagine the people in that city. They're like looking outside. Hey, you know those, uh, that Cathayan guy that lives in the jungle north of us? Yeah. They have a bunch of ships out in our bay just filled with military units. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, well. It's fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, Uberatus the Bull Breaker. Offspring of dragons. There's the tan coming Go for the gates. Us. They're probably just sailing by, you know. I've heard tale that they kill lots of lizard men, so they're probably doing that. We hate the lizard men, so we'll just let them let them be on their way. It's fine. What's the worst that could happen? We are casting true best. What's the worst thing happened? Dragon blooded Shugunga. Wind Shaper. Alright. You can give me a good resolve off this so I can recover. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. Leadership plus seven. Let's throw that on the Lord. Leadership plus six. Enemy leadership minus four. Actually, throw that on him. And some leadership on this <laughs> this single Jade Warrior. And he's doing some heavy lifting. He's supplying battle harmony for the entire rest of the army. <laughs> I don't even think you can spread them enough to do that. All right. We might, we might want to trade out some units between these armies to kind of balance that a little bit more. I would say. Oh, we got another one of those 20% range banners. Nice. Zatan, there's no way he can take this. We could probably go out there and hit him, but don't need to. We're going to take Mal's army that she gave us and meet up with Bin. Is this army fine against his? He might take the dragon crossroad. So let's move to the dragon gate with her. Bin. Wherever Cafe needs me, the celestial. All right, so Miao Ying, Miao Ying. Her army is not good, actually. I'm just noticing this. When Miao Ying asks, you answer. I mean, the Sky Junk is good. The one Celestial Dragon Crossbow is good. And she has a good hero. You <laughs> learn heroes. Yeah, I think I will need to name that one. That new one that I got, or uh, two that I got, yeah. All right, let's do that. 
Let's name those two. And then I think I need to go back and recruit with her. She was just going to plow right into those armies. When the AI cheat, she might have won, but... Natural authority. Uh, let's see. Oh, Vegemite's back. Vegemite is back. And then this one will... I will be Actually, obeyed. I'm going to replace this one because we can recruit at a higher level. So let's look at that, Offspring actually. Place Lord. Yeah, we can replace the level nine instead. And then there's a crafty one, uh, which is very, very handy. That, that ambush chance. And Yin, we got a research recently that gives them extra movement on the campaign. So I think I'm going to grab that. Lord and then we'll do Route Marcher, Inspiring Presence, uh, Attrition Reduction, because she's going to be going to the Chaos Waste. And then let's give her Casualty Replenishment. My ancestors. That should be good. Okay, and then we'll name her Shogun Gun Lord Reporting. This sounds all like demeaning or something. This lord, and then she comes to like Yuan Bo, and Yuan Bo calls her pumpkin all the time. What? Well, call me to pumpkin. Serve me is a privilege. Hey, first ever no pause river world. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it. <laughs> Let me know how it goes. You know how it goes. To fight for me is an honor. So. What is this foolishness? There's a little bit of a problem where I want to recruit better stuff with her. But if I remove this, those shades are going to come in and just kill kill her. So I'm going to have to move her towards Wei Jin. And they might end up just taking the city of Shugagan. Shugagan, whatever you, how you pronounce it. But, oh well, we'll take it back. Let's make sure we're not in movement range, attack range. We're not. Storm Dragon. Uh, All right, so what can she recruit here? Let's get rid of these. She's got five recruitment slots. Get rid of those four. They deserve the honor and this of one. Me? Why is she going so cab heavy? The AI, who knows? Uh, what? Whoops, whoops, whoops. Almost did that again. There we go. All right, that should be okay. And then that will be at least a little bit more pushing power for her or a grab us up here let's go ahead and keep getting him casualty I replenishment that to defend my soldiers and we're on our way to arcane conduit on that caster by the celestial dragon uh let's see what's going on down here okay there's gorok gorok nine Okay, Vegemite, we just got to their Great Bastion thing here. Let's start buffing their units as well. I was born to wield Ours is pretty melee heavy. So let's start out with Unyielding. We'll give some melee attack to those units. My high station. Ink boy. Keep stealing technology. Stealing technology in this game just reduces... Or it increases your... Research speed. Nothing else. And we'll just get some of the other special just specialist stuff on him. These heroes I might need want to name as well. Celestial ancestors. Defender of Grand Cap Wait, so we can recruit these guys wait, no no no, never mind. That's the wrong one. We can recruit um some heroes now at like level nineteen. So we'll want to do that. We can wait just a little bit, though. Balance their armies if you are going to keep them paired up. Not necessarily if they're always going to fight together, because your units, even if they're from different armies, will give the battle harmony buff. So, but in the off chance that one of them gets ambushed or you know, lightning struck, lightning strike attack or something like that, and we do need to fight with it by itself, probably a good idea to have them at least more balanced. So we want to keep this place in harmony, right? Because it's making it's making some pretty good money. 
actually it is a fortress city that's right we were using this to recruit to fight over here so yeah i don't really well we could either put the cannon building there or we could take this off harmony in order to get an extra recruit slot Honestly, though, I don't think we're going to be recruiting armies here for very much longer. It looks like... Look, here's on the back foot. The Chaos Doors are not much of a problem. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be recruiting here very much longer. So... I'm just going to leave it balanced. Um, in that case, we can't really put another building there. Unless I take this down. Then we can balance it that way. That's fine. So whichever one we put here, we just need to do the opposite over there. So. Yeah, that'll be fun. Gun, Ishtar, yep, 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 yep. No worries, yeah, I, I know. This happened last time too. Last World DLC. For a long time, people were coming in. Did you hear? Like, literally, like, a week later, it's like, yeah, I happen to know. It was funny this time, too, because I I was able to do a video immediately. Like, literally, I started the stream up something like 10 minutes after the announcement. And so I had people on, um, on, like, Discord be like, Adam, did you hear? And people would link a two-hour video about it already. <laughs> so, pretty, pretty funny. Funny. They were like, yeah, he's heard... Here's his two-hour video response. <laughs> um, I might actually want this one off balance to get it uh, growing faster. So let's go yin with this one. Uh, wait. Yeah, yin. Okay. Amazon Tynan. I can't believe he commented on my video. Yeah, that's the first time I've ever seen that. At first, I thought it wasn't him. So Tynan commented on my thoughts video. And I saw the name. I was like, oh, well, you can make your name anything you want on... You can make your name anything you want on, on YouTube, right? So it's just probably someone that put that name. Uh, I was wrong. I was wrong. I clicked on it, and that's his. It, it has the original RimWorld video from, like, 11 years ago. Like... First look at my first game, RimWorld. Uh, we want to actually get this over to Yin as well. So let's get these Yin buildings going. And the reason why is so we can get this to tier 5. Yin gives us extra growth. This game seems very complicated. Um, Some of it is very complicated. And it also depends on the faction. There's something like... There's over 90 playable factions for the... For the player nowadays and most of them play very differently from one another and some of them are much more standard like this you see me choose a certain buildings because of balance and harmony that's only this faction only Cathay. don't have to worry about that there are some very standard factions as well so we want to keep going yin here Get that control yeah if you have any questions about it by all means let me know Oh, maybe we should have used the steel to recruit on her. And then she could have stayed there. I wasn't even thinking about that. Well, I don't have any money anymore. So, oh well. I don't feel like going through and canceling a bunch of buildings. Alright, so we can trade with someone. What? Boris is strength rank 16. Can I Way to go, Boris. Way to go. I'm listening. Yeah, that's the only trade we can do this turn. By the cruel seas. What did Tynan say on the comment? His comment was like, uh, you guys are awesome or something like that. It was like, you guys are awesome, smiley face. How is Boris winning? I don't know. But now that we're trading with him, we'll be able to see his place next, uh, next turn. Wait, I don't need extra money to use the steel. What am I thinking? She's, I just literally cancel what she's recruiting, use steel, then re-recruit it. 
I don't even have to do that. Just use the steel. Just use the steel. And then maybe she has enough movement to get back there. We want we want stuff into stone anyway. Oh, it's got a internal cooldown. Just kidding. Just kidding. Rank 16 Boris. Yeah, that's the highest I've ever seen him if the without the player impacting it. Is that was an imposter at first? It, yeah, me too, but it isn't. Uh, I posted on the Discord. All right, there's our, our brother. Is is he a little brother or a big brother? Brother, I have no idea. Last video I can see in your YouTube video section is one month old. Most recent. Uh, click on the live tab. That's the most recent edited video. Either click on home or click on live. Don't click on videos. Uh, YouTube has split it up. Edited versus vo or live now for some reason. Unfortunately. J Dragon is giving big bro vibes. Yeah. All right, Loki is back up. Uh, they embedded him into that army. He is coming for Shug again. He'll probably sack it though. Like we can't do anything about this. That, that's just done. They are rebels. No, I think they're uh, siblings, right? Children of the dragons. I think the dragons had nine children. Is that right? These are three of them. I am an immortal Why is YouTube doing that? Yeah, there's there's tons of stuff in that live tab if you haven't been there in a while. This guy's trying to trade with us. <laughs> I remember the last time I was like, these dark elves are seeing you on bow and like multiple armies on ships right on his, on his coast. How oblivious though, that this guy goes out there and he's waving at him like, hey, you on bow, are you here to trade? Yes, I brought two of my biggest armies to trade with you. Play as last you catch notify. Yeah, you have to go to live or to um, home now. Celestial ancestor. I can't believe Zatan just donating that army. Works for me though. He likes that I beat up Marcus. Yeah. We'll trade you some arrows. All right, I'm really curious what is going... Oh, gold tooth. That must... Wait a second. So Grimgore declared Wa on someone else and then wiped out gold... No, he didn't wipe gold tooth. Imric, I think, wiped out gold tooth. Took him right out from under Grimgore's wall. <laughs> Interesting. All right, Boris, what is going on up here? I've never seen this. What? <laughs> he beat Archaon? And he's almost in, pushed into Colex territory. Need to find one from IP, you really know or wait. Uh, so the thing is, I didn't know anything about Warhammer either, but I really love this game. And I've learned a lot about Warhammer from from playing it and from, from going outside of the game and, and wondering about stuff. And the thing I'll tell you about this one is the reason why to me it's the best Total War and it might be the best ever. Like I, it's hard for, to imagine them talking this is because of how diverse it is. Like. Most Total War games, you have other factions, but they're basically the same, right? There's minor differences. It's the same kind of units. It's it's humans versus humans, right? But with this, because they are like different beings entirely, they can just go completely opposite. And there's just such a wide variety. Like there's 90 something playable factions by the player character that the player character can use. And they are actually all they actually all play different. Every single one of them plays differently. Like, it's, it's almost hard to believe when you say that. Like, even even me knowing that that's how it is, it's like, no, there's no way that they're all... Be like, water. like, distinctly different. But they really are. Like, it's, uh... It's really crazy. Malevolent law. Unique trees. Yeah, unique tech trees. Not even just unique, unique tech trees. The tech trees even work differently with a lot of the factions. Execution. Zidian, thank you for the 32 months. Thank you, Zidian. Yeah, everything. All the systems, 
like this steel and stone system is literally just this one lord in this one faction. It's it's yeah, it's nutty. Natural and so another thing about that or because of that is not only is the game so varied and therefore has a lot of replayability, it also Four, means that there's rule. probably a faction that you are going to connect with. Attention. There is probably a faction that you are just going to really, sons really like, whether it's play style based or you just think they're cool, Natural whatever. It's just a massive, massive game and uh, endless replayability. All right, so died. actually, they, eh, we don't need all these going this way. So I think Brazen can come up and meet with Vegemite and Bin and Agravitus can meet up for these Eastern battles. So let's go ahead and start coming out this way. We'll go into Encamp Stance so we don't get attrition from this chaos stuff. Get in as a Lord, you did, yeah. Even trying hard to roleplay just leads you to the same end game. Yeah, it is, it's very different and you can choose another really crazy thing is every little decision that you make can drastically change what happens Many in the game. Feet, so up. I could do a start of the same character 10 times and have a completely different game. And you saw how shocked I was. Those that don't know the game is probably like, what's the big deal with Boris being a strong? It like, mine by there are these, these thousands of little Service is uh, butterfly effects throughout the entire game that you don't often see. Like, there's some things that are just like, that never happens. So Boris up there has a really, really difficult start. Maybe one of the most difficult starts of the game, if not the most difficult. And he's not only survived. He's actually winning. He's actually pushed in on things that he probably shouldn't be winning on. Okay, let's put some of these banners on. Uh, and we'll see if he marches out. Suffer the tempest. Came from Emerald, Saber Warhammer, and Emerald, of course. Oh, yeah, my pleasure. I really... So, to be honest with you, this game is completely selfish for me. It doesn't do super well in the stream, though it does better than a lot of the games, uh, the side games that I play. I would be much more... The stream numbers and... Income-wise, would be much better off if I just played Rimworld only. But this game does okay on the stream. Man, we just failed two in a row. And I just really enjoy the game. And like I said, part of that enjoyment is just because it is so varied. It is, it's, uh, it's crazy. Okay, we have a lot of yin here. Or a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of yin. Let's just keep going with yin. Oh, wait, there's a resource. Okay, we'll take that. Upgrade these. Uh, upgrading the port for more money money so this place we have as a commercial like the commercial districts this is a thing for this this single legendary lord it's crazy faction wide abilities does it yeah but i've never seen him win up there him being pushed in on by the demon prince and on archaeon is kind of crazy i just over and roll nice thank you <laughs> i mean good games out too yeah It's a Rimworld content as a result. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It doesn't any benefit anyone if I'm so burned out on Rimworld that you can tell that I'm not enjoying it or something. Uh, all right. So we just need to keep this in balance. So whatever we do here, we do the opposite on this side and keep our income going. So yeah, just do the white one there and put this one as the black. Last turn, turn eight. Yeah, that's why I was saying, like, outside of the um, the player, right? Like, Boris usually doesn't do it too well unless he's being controlled by the player or if the player is babysitting him, if you're someone that's allied with him. All right, so the compass. I know, <laughs> I just keep putting on the same one, but this is the best one for us still right now. Still the best one.
two gas and maybe starting to head out. He's heading somewhere. Oh, I wonder if Grimgore is going to declare on him now. Grimgore. Grimgore. <laughs> I almost said it again. Grimgore is going to need another war target now that Garesis is dead. The Jade Dragon. Hilarial is a high elf queen. She wants a non aggression pact. We are never going to fight her. So that works for me. Just get a little extra money. Why not? Like nothing, though. Good rock. Good rock. Oh, Johnny, are you still here? Not today. We're just going to pin him there for a little bit. It's fine. Her army, it kind of sucks, so we got to get her uh, fully recruited with those steel tokens and then we can fight things. We could probably have won that, yeah. We would have lost quite a bit, but there's uh, another army coming of our ally. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have waited on that, actually, now that I think about it. Going shy, welcome in. I don't want them to take that settlement. Yeah, I don't know. I'll look. Going juicer, welcome in. Pet the female. Hang on, I don't usually read these. What is this? Two cats have been regular visiting the camp. The larger one, a golden furred male, solemnly watches your soldiers train, while the other, a silvery female, is more affectionate, bringing comfort to your disaffected. Out, out walking late, unable to sleep, you find both in your path, gazing at you expectantly. I have never seen this one. Why is Cathay invading Illustria? So, uh, basically, there is... Um, there are powerful places there to that that empower the Wuxing Compass. And the Wuxing Compass's power is used to hold the Great Bastion. So Yuan Bo has gone to Lustria of News to try to secure these things in order to harness that power, to use the Compass to embolden the Bastion and hold the walls against chaos back in Cathay. That's the short of it. Pet the female, recruitment cost reduction for yang units, construction increase for yin buildings. Feed the male, so the opposite there. Throw them down a well! <laughs> Control minus six. Leadership plus 25% when fighting against demons of chaos. What kind of... What kind of horrific thing is this? Well, I don't want any of these, so I'm just going to ignore, but... Or even shorter, make magic compass go brr. Yeah, that's right. So these are about to have rebellions, but we have armies on the way over here, so not a big deal. This is gonna make you bug them more. Maybe. Maybe. The Jade Dragon. Servant of the Dragons. Alright, we're gonna declare war on you. My time and Why? Because you're in the way. It's gonna make Rakarth mad too, but who cares? Leader of men. No, I don't need to call my allies from the other side of the world. Oh. <laughs> uh, will glory in your death. There we go. No, it's not gonna let me click because we're in the friggin' Through me. We're in the zone of control with him, so. Uh, we're about to trade out all that melee with her coming down anyway. So normally I would fight this and we can fight this and not lose in. Oh my God. We would absolutely destroy this. What is this army? Yuan Bo would just take out all his harpies. <laughs> Maybe I should just fight it. I don't know. Let me see. Cause I'm, I'm literally about to disband, disband a bunch of these. Let me look. Harpies, my Lord. It's yeah. So there's no reason for me to like, she's coming to, to dump these on those armies. So they need to dismiss some people anyway and the thing is if we fight it we're not going to completely wipe him and then we're going to have to fight him again so yeah i kind of want to see him shred through uh, <laughs> all these harpies harpies are terrible but we don't, we don't need to expanding harmony across the world expanding harmony that's right all right blood hall coven is done general Okay, and then let's keep her coming down here. 
Can she make land fall this turn? No, it's going to be next turn. Okay. We sail. The dragon blooded. Might be a fun fight. Yeah, but then we just have to chase that guy. And I've... It might not happen, but I've... Definitely had it where... Where's that uh, Wind Rebellion? Uh, I've definitely had it where the... That Lord that doesn't get destroyed, uh, you know, because he gets kicked back out of the way a little bit. He, like, goes out into the ocean and just, like, goes off and hits somewhere some annoying fashion. So we'll just... We'll just do that because I'm going to dismiss a bunch of them anyway. Ponic, welcome in. So far, we only played one battle today, though, so I definitely want to. Down the well, yeah, kick him down the well, those cats. That's a, that's a really bad one to choose, too, especially on this difficulty. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and start moving Ben over this way to take out the Foundry of Bones and then swing down here and deal with the Rebellion. Vegemite, um... Do they have anything at the Fortress of Eyes? There is a military presence at the Fortress of Eyes. Windshaper. It is acceptable. So, Vegemite, Celestial let's go ahead ancestors. and just fill in some of your army here, even if it's... Oh, wait, it's two turn recruitment because this is Chaos Waste. Um, Allied recruits instead... Grab two cannons. I stand apart. So Mal, we got the steel now, so we can replace some more of this. We need to replace some of her front line. How many recruitment slots? Oh wait. The defense effort has Crap. need. Warden of the Great Bastion. No, it's still okay. She has six recruitment slots. Okay, so let's get rid of one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe those ones? Okay. The two. Three. I guess I could have just control clicked them. Are you worthy? Okay, and then what did he have? I will not. Uh, Shades great swords. One of the best units in the game that are so cheap and spammable. Heat cannot quell my thunder. The celestial Miao Yi. <laughs> Stalking armor, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking glowing and clean. Uh, thanks. Thanks. I think. I think that's a compliment. Hmm. Armor piercing melee. She doesn't have any buffs behind those right now, but... Uh, they could get on... Uh, yeah, let's, let's grab them to get on the artillery back there. Okay, now we're going to use the Levy the Provinces. That's going to finish up a round of recruitment on her. The Storm Dragon. And now we'll see yes. if he comes out from that. Do not order me. He already owns the Zhu, so... Okay. All right, Yuan Bo. Uh, right, we're working on finishing off his blue line. He's gonna have a pretty expensive army. Quartermaster might be good, but I mean, we, we have a lot of funds coming in as well. So I think I'm just gonna grab casualty replenishment. Useful tool in the right hand. Oh, you're right. It might not even have a wall. Yeah, let me double check it. It is a it is a minor settlement. We were building a wall there, but I don't know if the wall got finished. With that, I would need. Yeah, I'll double check.
I just no no I know <laughs> I was just joking. Okay, arcing conduit. Dragon. Uh, Satang the Watcher. So what does he have up here? Hawkish. Wait, is not that a wood elf thing? Armor piercing missile damage plus fifteen percent. Passive ability. Yeah, that's a yeah yeah that's a that's a wood elf thing. That's interesting. He's building a wall, a wall. I believe so. I believe so. Here's Skulk. The knowledge shall be ours. We'll be going to war with him after we replace Yuan Bo's military. Wait, how much do you have? Fool. I should flay the Uh can we hmm. Can Skulk wait? Pestilence will come to all, whether you bargain or not, not. Skulk's gonna declare on us pretty soon. Maybe we declare on Itza to give a little bit of time, but a great journey. It'll just be that, just a little bit of time. Alright. Uh I guess we'll grab Earthing and Arcane Conduit so we can cast more General without of the celestial host. hurting ourselves. Who are you? Oh, the new gatekeeper. Or one of the gatekeepers that came along with No no. This this is uh Aram's gatekeeper, I think. Give him armor and some more weapon damage. Ink boy, let's see if you fail again. Surely not, Ink Boy. Surely not. First alphabetical order, what faction did you end on? I can double check. What would have been after ogres? I do anything after ogres? I think it was ogres. So we definitely didn't make it to Nurgle. That was when we were doing the, the 100 turn campaigns, yeah. yeah. He'll be back in one turn. Go ahead and upgrade some of these buildings. Don't really need anything else at the Dragon Gate, honestly. But... It's cheap. It's cheap. Let's get growth started here. The Yin building. Oh, nice. He had... Uh, we got this uh, Celestial Tower from that. So that increased our research. Pretty special building in this place now. Yeah. Imminent Rebellion. Yeah, we're on our way to this one. Like, nothing I can do about that just yet. All right, next research. Games. Looking forward to playing blindly. Well, I was going to play through Dragon's Dogma 2, but uh, that'll probably have to wait because of the Rimworld expansion. <laughs> that was the, uh, the, the next one, probably, but... Income from industry plus 10, ambush success plus 20. Ammunition for grand cannons and reload time. That's that'd be really nice. More peasant stuff. Melee defense for yin units, eh. Upkeep reduction for yin. We do have a lot of yin units, and that's just a two turn to knock that out. Yeah, let's just knock that out real quick. The Imperial Bureaucracy awaits our command. All right, any new trades or anything this turn? Your request? Safari. The Warden of Tor Ivres. Yeah, we can trade with what him. Is it? I am a Warden. Yeah, that's a good it trade. Nessus. Let's hear it. Champion of the oozed by the light of the lady. <laughs> But yeah, uh, Rimworld DLC was just announced two days ago. They're going to announce the title of it in less than an hour. And that will be dominating my time for quite a long time. Good for the stream? Yeah, good for the stream. Good for the family. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Vegemite. Oh, they got a good army. Uh, I think we lose this one, actually. Maybe. What are we going to do about the friggin' blunderbusses? Mm. 
Put a puddle out there. They can't swim. They'll run away. <laughs> That's a good army. He doesn't have a lot of winds of magic, which is good. I don't have to worry about a lot of that, but man. Yeah, and this one's beat up. You don't even have a full army. You were recruiting another slot, too. So full stack versus 19, and they have mostly, mostly good units, so... All right, wager's coming up, but I'm not feeling too good about this one. Like, if we were at full health, feel a little bit better, of course. How are we going to get onto those blunderbuss? I'm not sure. All right. These blunderbuss units are so good. Crazy too, because this is like the last of Zartan stuff. But. Master of the winds. And we only have Storm of Shadows and Cloak of Jet and then forecast a Flock of Doom. Um... No cannons. Don't the Blunderbuss have trouble? They kind of fixed a lot of that when uh, the Chaos Doors came out. So they do have a little bit of trouble, but not as much as they used to have with... Uh, with uh, Black Powder weapons still have a little bit of trouble, but not as much as they used to have. We definitely need the shields to hold the line, but their melee infantry will probably just run over this. I got to try to get some of these guys back there on the blunderbuss, but I don't know how we're going to do that. I don't know if these are going to be able to get back there or not. Probably not. Alright, let's see. I should have moved forward a little bit. Order and balance. Whatever is required. We could have used the slow spell at least. Might as well use that on him before I forget. The Castellan is firing at her, but... Alright, if you want to lose or use the little bit of your Winds of Magic on that, it's fine, I guess. Okay, we got to make sure we get all this to not chase. Actually, just these ones. With joy, defenders of Catherine. With infinite pride. Day warriors, leading the way. A new path. Kiss of the spirit dragon. I shake the winds. Set my dragon. Repositioning. Jade crossbow. Stone and steel. With joy. Sterling. Crap. It pleases the dragon. It pleases the dragon. Crossbowmen, immediately! Celestial fury! Good positioning. Moving formation. 
Bring another group back. I will go. Of course. Seeking opportunity. Shogun gun sorcerer. This way. This is the way. Yeah, this army got caught already injured against a much stronger army, so. And they're in a settlement, unfortunately. A minor settlement. Those ones are about to break. Warriors, Those guys are just held there. There's nothing I can do about that. Defend the realm in Shen Yang's name. Warrior crossbows. Minds as one. This is the way. It pleases the dragons. Take arms. Seeking Kenny's bows. Well, I mean, that actually <laughs> did more friendly fire on them than it, than it did on us. Damage to us, so. To me. To battle. That one's completely and broken, so that's good. Fury. Man, they gotta be running out of wins of magic. They only had 20 total. Oh, I didn't see that. Those hobgoblin cutthroats off that if we can. Eradicate them. We have their blunderbusses, right? Okay, those ones are getting taken out. Will of the dragons. A new path. Defenders of cafe. My chosen place. On gilded foot. Dragon, hear my prayer! Seeking opportunity! Leading the way! Uh, we definitely don't Our want turn. these recovering. But... Fire in the blood! That group's just, like, deadlocked over there. Yeah, stop them from shooting, good. Jade crossbows! Of Almost out way. of melee. Peasant archers! It is fated. Stone and steel. They're doing a lot of friendly fire with those, but man, those spells must cost like next to nothing right now. I thought they'd be done with their casting quite a while ago. Those are coming back. For the moon dragon! For the celestial emperor! These guys might win over there? Crossbowmen! March in ordered ranks! Guided by ancestors! Okay, those guys are gone. March in ordered ranks! This is the way! There! Bathed in celestial light! On gilded foot! Warrior crossbows. Born of dragons. Warrior okay. crossbows. Uh, you guys. Yeah, stay on those. I don't want them to recover either. Wind and fire. Okay, those are done. Yeah, that's where most of their powers left right now. Let's switch over to him. Those are about to break. Those ones are good, so don't waste Defenders shooting at them any. There's another kind of group in there that's in not super hurt. Vegemite lives! <laughs> of dragons. I will go. Well, that went better than uh, I expected. I really thought we were going to lose that one. Might even kill that attacking lord. Ready to rule. I don't think you could have won that without corner camp pop. camping cheese. The celestial faithful. Celestial 
Luckily, we managed to dodge most of the spells that would really have hurt us. And also, pretty luckily, most of those spells had a lot of friendly fire. Yeah, we're going to kill him too. Nice. Make sure you're not healing him with spells. Uh, I don't think he has that one. Right? Or was this? Yeah, this is the same guy, yeah. Going auto, welcome in. All right, nice. Nice, nice. Morale, usually watch the VOD content, the live reaction. Oh, when, uh, when he announces the name here in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. My reaction to the whole thing is up on the, on the live tab on YouTube. If, uh, I haven't already seen. We're on defense, so I definitely want to kill as much as we can. Micro, manage, crossbow, bolt, dodging. Yes, on... Legendary and very hard, they dodge stuff like crazy. It's really it's really frustrating with artillery. So you'll have them setting up in defense and you'll you'll unleash like four volleys of artillery and they will perfectly dodge every single hit. Just like what the crap. We could have an artful dodger, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Alright. A victory. They definitely had a better army than us. There you guys go. There's your channel points. He actually got more kills than I thought. He got 89. Oh, if it crashed this time, maybe replay that. That would suck. Shouldn't have said anything, but it didn't, uh, it didn't end up mattering. Gamble paid off that time. Nice. Gambling always pays off. We know that. He went to ambush. <laughs> yeah. Go hide. <laughs> Jesus, what just happened? Hide in the trees. There are no trees in the chaos. Gambling always pays someone off. That is true. Yeah, that is very true. Yao Ming. And he always says a name so fast. Yao Ming. Can't you just come slightly closer to reinforce my fight? Eh, nah, you got this. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Emmerich is at war with... With, um... Grimgore. What a map. Problem is, those shades are going to rip everything apart. Um... Yeah, let's try it. Even if we lose, it doesn't matter. We're, we're, uh... As long as Mao Ying doesn't actually die herself. Yeah, that's a lot of wins of magic he has. Yeah, alright. We'll just play it. We'll just play it. Hopefully the Sky Junk doesn't get... knocked out of the air by those shades immediately. Alright, wagers coming up again. Your real fake channel points on the line right now. That's a weird map. What am I seeing? Is this like some kind of intestinal track? All right, so what we need to do, we need to get our puppies. They're not puppies onto their artillery. And then the big thing, man, the Sisters of Slaughter are going to pull some people in. Got to make sure Mal doesn't... What did, what did she end up having on? Right, okay. I should have put the... Uh, the healing weapon on her. We're going to make sure our crossbow are protected by the halberds. It's mainly just the shades. It's just literally the shades. What are we going to use to kill the shades? And the answer is... We have nothing that's good against the shades, so... Aside from the sky junk, if it can hit it... All right, we'll see. 
takes too long till we know what's in it. Uh, it shouldn't. Yeah, based on the other timeline or the timeline of the previous DLCs, but I have to see the shades to be able to hit them, man. They're lions. They're kitties. They're not puppies. Look at that puppy. Look at that puppy. But really, it does remind me of a food dog more than it does a lion. Lions are puppies. Come on. Tigers are kittens. Actually, here for experience. Go on, mock welcome in. Uh, all right, so we do have a major army, and we have a lot of winds of magic. Uh, Searing Doom, excellent spell. So this is the army that Mao already had when we confederated her. Golden Hounds, always good. Uh, what does she have bound? She turned into her dragon. She has an earth blood for a heal. We don't really have. Well, the puppies can be healed. They're not puppies. All right, so yeah, it's all about can we survive the shades? That's pretty much it. Pretty much it. He has some magic, but not a ton. But we do want to stagger a little bit so that if they do get any of those uh, sweeping kind of spells off. It's not going to kill multiple groups. We have these two on the flank over there. These two will go forward to the flank over there. These will be in the middle to grab. Okay, and then Sky Junk. We need that pulling them from the get-go. And we got to try to get our cavalry. cav in harmony. on their bolt throwers. It's unfortunate we're not going to know where the shades are. The puppies don't get a penalty in the forest, so we'll go ahead and put them over there. All right. Shaper of steel. Uh, what level is she? Okay, she has her horse, but not her flying mount. All right. We're going to put all of the crossbow people on guards. So they don't chase. Everyone else can stay, though. Went to the lion. Look at those puppies. That's right. Same <laughs> the shades. That's what I'm hoping. Shade great weapons are incredible. That's that, Malekith was one of our fastest long victories, and it was off the back of just spamming shades, to be honest. So... Basically trying to get them to shoot into the trees over there. They have the bolt throwers attacking here. Sisters of Slaughter. Yeah, that's fine. If you guys want to shoot into the trees, that's awesome. For the defense, sent by Gairan. Cavalry. Jade monsters. Already pulling back. Uh, let's go ahead and bring you up here. Just don't get stuck with the horses. And let's go ahead and put that on those guys. Here, 
Here's some of the shades. I use the slowing on that. Sky Junk is running out of ammo. Let's turn off Fire at Will. Wait till they group up a little bit more. Oh, I didn't see that cast. I was too busy. Bring you back up here, and Mal, you can go ahead and heal that one. There's some shades we got held in there. Go ahead and hold fire, get on you. With infinite pride. With joy. Should give us some time to move forward again. There we go. Now we see more of the shades. Doing some real work over there, this little mage. Fortunately, we're almost out of ammo. Some of these units I'm not too concerned about losing. I don't see that spell either. Does she have weapon attack? Okay. okay, we gotta make sure she doesn't get hit by a low here. We might actually want to get her up in the air. Kind of would like to get a heal on that. And I didn't dodge that enough. Okay, there's Loke here. Oh, he's getting absolutely sniped. The storm gathers. Wind and fire. Wind and fire. I don't think we have to worry about him. Okay, those are good. I can you go over there to heal these. Hey, he's dead, so that's going to help with the balance power quite a bit. We said we had to use her dragon form, so... I'm a little worried to go into it too early, because I don't want all the shades to turn on her. Yeah. 
those bones! The Storm Dragon! March for the Emperor! Uh, do we have any more charges on those? No. Oh, they're out of ammo. No, I don't want to waste you guys. And the Sky Junk was getting lit up by the shades, but as long as it doesn't die, we don't care. So let's get our single entities here and get some heals. So we lost. Wait, where did she go? Oh, okay. I was about to say, did we lo lose that hero? Ink boy, they were the 40 months. Yeah, I don't know why he wasn't on his mount. Yeah, I don't know. He was level 19. I've never seen the AI do that either, really. Can we heal the sky junk? It's kind of weird. Whatever. We got a few seconds here. We'll just use our heals while they're running away. It's okay, it's turning to the dragon now. <laughs> no, we need to we need to heal. Heal steam tanks, yeah, that's true. The life magic, so why not why not sky junk? It's weird. <laughs> it is magic after all. We basically just used her as a glorified caster during that. Didn't end up losing the cab either, surprisingly. Are people flying that thing? Yeah, but what about this top part? These rips and stuff. Magically healing that too, I guess. There are people in that balloon, for God's sake. They have families. They did have families, but I conscripted them and they're dead now. No Metallo. Slow day at work. It's just an inflated person. It's made out of humane leather. Ah, uh, the Celestial Crossbow is getting big damage. Uh, we pretty much... Oh, aside from that one. Where was that one? I was going to say, we pretty much made it so that the Shades of the Great Weapons didn't get a lot of kills. And that's why we did so well. But I apparently lost track of one of them. I have no idea which one that one, that one is, but... It was absolutely lighting us up, apparently. There is no call for cruelty. That's it is weird that Loki is level 19 and he wasn't on his mount. Although, doesn't he he either has an item or something Still, that he gets bonuses if he's not on a mount? Feels familiar. Not aggression, no, I don't think so. Done. Zazzles, yeah, yeah. Uh, so about 20 minutes now, I think, and we'll get the name of it. Um, beer killer. All right. What's my diplomacy plan for Lustria? Just kill everyone? Yep. yep. That is my <laughs> diplomacy. I am blank. I am bringing harmony. Every time we take someone and kill them, you on bows like spread harmony across the land. <laughs> Like, yep, that's what we're doing. We are spreading harmony. Yep, yep. Wait, it just said there was a... Oh, it's next turn, the rebellion. Okay. Dragon -blooded Wind Shaper. So, initially... Astromancer of Grand Cathay. The knowledge shall be ours. I was going to, secrets. like, peace out with with uh marathi like i got a settlement literally to give to Mar marathi for peace and she declared war on me so it, it kind of made us angry and we've retaliated by just wiping just wiping all of lustria and all of the western world 
uh, of anything that's non Cathayan. Hey, the gamble. Oh, thank you. Man, believers are making bank today. Look at that. Did you say believers? I absolutely did not. There we go. We're ringing harmony. If it's oh, uh, hopefully it's not spelled. Hopefully it's not journey. Yeah. Shugengun Lord reporting. All right, so we're gonna hand some of these off to Yuan Bo here. Uh, get rid of those. Okay, that's good. And then hand the these ones over to Aram. I haven't tried out these lions in actual combat yet. I gotta do that sometime. Alright. And now you, your job is to go recruit more stuff. What is my purpose? You sit in town and then deliver armies Celestial to people. General. Very important. Very important. Um, I return to my texts. Hmm. Ancestors, guide us. For Cathay. Sorcery. Um, his army is actually already in pretty good shape. We could probably just go ahead and head this way. Golden Ziggurat is a minor settlement as well. Ooh, Great Turtle Isle is tier 5 already, and it's one of the ones that we need for the long campaign victory. How many settlements does he have? You will pay. 10? Uh, okay, it's probably spread all the way down this side. Dragon. I mean, our armies absolutely stomp all this crap, so... I think I'll just go ahead and bring us down here. An idea forms. General. Sneaks. Need our Creedy Lord, though. Crafty Lord, she just follow you around. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy to get... Their crafty lords give you 35%, which is absurd. Okay, let's go ahead and finish this army off. And we'll check Vegemite's gear while we're in here, too. Read their melee. Wow, you have, like, nothing. Trickster's Helm. That's better on melee lords. I don't have a lot of melee lords, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Sword of Strife. Eh. Do we not have Insur Blade or anything? No. Better than nothing, I guess. Talisman. We got Spell Resist, which is whatever. Talisman of Endurance. Okay, we'll take that one. I need to combine some of this stuff sometime. I don't want to. Upkeep reduction for Jade Warriors and Jade Warrior Halberds. Yeah, all right. Take that. Scrivener research rate increase. There we go. Good. It befits my high all right. Station. Let's go take this, uh, this little dwarf out. The little dwarf. The Make your ancestors proud. There is no Dwarves to mess with you. That's right. That's right. Not only are you alive, you're thriving. Shugengun, Lord. Thriving. Is there any military here now? Nope. Cathay needs them dead. Okay, so it is insane how good the chaos doors are in auto resolve. Power like in the blood. That's allocate shift. As required. That's pretty nutty. But Which that is a close to... victory. Look, they have nothing. I mean, this is an army that we just got for free from Yao Ying, but. I demand their death. World run. Does that mean all of your entries are cleared? No, unfortunately, the bot is broken in that way. So right now it's actually a queue again instead of a ticket system. I have some people that have reached out on Discord to help fix it. But I haven't had time to really 
uh, get started in that in earnest. So. All right, well, we're going to have to fight this because I don't want to lose a uh, crap load of units to this. Ace wanted to clarify. Yeah, yeah, that's unfortunate, but. Checking out the expansion announcement in about half an hour. Uh, they're, for all I'm, from what I understand, they're just revealing the name only, right? But if it's more than that, then yes, I'll switch over and do that. Yeah. So we'll see what it is. If it's just the name, I'm not going to make anything for, for that. But if it's more than that, then yeah, I'll switch over to, to RimWorld. RimWorld taking up my war hammering. So what does she have? Also, Searing Doom. All right. Oh, God. These freaking Sky Lanterns. It is a... Oh, it's a walled settlement. I didn't even look. That's fine. We already know the name. Yeah. Shogun Gun Sorcerer. Mines as one. This is one of the reasons why it probably gave us a... My God. Why was... Why was Mao Ying so, like... Bent on getting a uh, cab? Like... I don't know. I know I don't specialize in this at all, but hear me out. What if that's all I make? Is that is that considered is that considered specializing if that's all I make, even though they're not good? I mean, I guess technically it is, isn't it? You got me there, Mao Ying. You got me there. Horses are a wall. Johnny, yeah, I do. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I haven't had a lot of time to play much off stream, but Modwife already has a character that's almost level 80 on Last Epoch, and her and I played it in, in super early access quite a bit together. Yeah, I, like I said, I pretty much like all genres of games to be, to be fair. So yeah, we've absolutely, absolutely played and enjoy Last Epoch. In early access when I was made for RPG since Diablo 2 resurrected and Titan Quest. You ever play Grim Dawn? I still stick by Grim Dawn being an amazing ARPG. Love Grim Dawn. Thanks for your poor doggo that loses Paul. Let's go attack lanterns. <laughs> March in order the ranks. What does she have? Right. Leading the way. Oh, I meant to stop them from making that. Anomaly is the name. Rimworld Anomaly. So it was going to be archaeology, and they're like, everyone guessed it. So we got to change it to another A name now. So all of our paths still work. <laughs> no, I'm sure they didn't do that. They will perish. Defend the realm. Ribba. Ribba. You think it's Apocalypse? It's a big post. All right. So I'm going to have to do a new stream after this. Yeah, I, I'll read it all. Please, you don't need to tell me everything that I'm about to go read. I'd appreciate it. I know it's exciting, but I'll read it. So be it. The Celestial Empire grows. I'll read it. I gotta get through this turn. Shogun Gun Sorcerer. Oh, oh. Warrior Crossbow. Nice. Mines as one. Setting out power of the element. 
He made the tweet 10 minutes early and deleted it, someone said. I don't know if this, any of this is true, but... I will go see, don't worry. Yes, thank you. I'm playing something else at the moment. I'll get there. <laughs> I like that lantern get shot up a bit on accident. these shooting this now oh, i didn't realize they had more units back here we're gonna lose more in this than i so maybe i should have just taken the close victory or i should pay attention yeah uh, i'll get to it let me finish this battle Oh, they were gonna do it at 1 p.m. like they said. So I was like, "Ah, we can we can finish this." Yeah, I'm gonna end up having to stop reading uh, chat for a minute. <laughs> Just in case. Uh, what else? All right, let's move to the center. Yeah, I think I... I'm just minimizing chat. See you guys after none of this. Sorry. It'd be nice to be able to read the stuff and uh, see what's new for myself. All right. No chat. It's minimized. First time I've ever had to do that. I know it's exciting, but I'm just not there yet. I thought we had like 10 more minutes uh, and I was going to minimize this and go look, but apparently they tweeted out a little bit early, so... But, oh well. We'll finish this off. We'll lose more than I intended on this because I just haven't been paying attention, but... I should have just pushed all in the same direction here. Like I normally do. I didn't realize how many more units they had back here. All right, where's our caster? There she is. Okay, we'll cast slow on those guys. Hopefully that allows us to hit them with that magic. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't realize they had... What? I didn't know they had that. We lost a lot right there. And now I'm all grouped up. Hopefully I don't have another cast of that. decisive all right so we'll save this uh i'm gonna go let my wife know i'm gonna switch over to rim world stuff and then um if there's time left depending on how much stuff we have to go over we'll end up coming back to total war or whatever time we have left for today depending depending on what there is like i said and i'm not able to see anything so. 
will can stop. All right, pumpkin. Korea. Something about stomping Korea, I think he said. Oh crap! I forgot to set up a commercial district on the last turn. Uh, all right, I'm gonna end the um, the live stream on YouTube because it doesn't let me split it. So the Total War stream will end on YouTube, and I'll be back live in like five minutes or something with RimWorld stuff.